about make or miss. And we replay that and rewind it all the way back to say, that's the last thing they need to think about. What they're supposed to think about is, did I catch the ball? Did I square up? Was my body right? Did I follow through and lock it out? That's what I could control. The end result is out of my control. So you alluded to it beautifully, Percy, when you say trust your process, trust your work, trust your reps. In whatever it is, if you're speaking, get a good organization and work through your outline. Land it. If you're a pitcher, okay, what's my release point? How's my push leg? Where's my land? Am I following through correctly? Those are the things that have to occupy our mind. So the more folks do it with their self-talk of occupying what's real and controllable, regardless of what's going on in their life, they manage it better. So I'm going to share a quick story, a Kobe Bryant story that you made me think of. Nike sent Nike's guru of workouts to Kobe's Mamba workout offseason. Alan Stein shows up and says, Kobe, they want me to look at what you do because you're so good at it and you manage things when it's so pressure packed. He said, sure, come on. So Alan asked him, what time do you start? He says, I start 3.30 at 4 o'clock a.m. 4 o'clock a.m. is when I start working out. He shows up, Alan Stein shows up at 3.30. Kobe is already sweating and worked out. He says, Kobe, you told me 4 o'clock. Kobe said, I'm ready to work at 4. I'm not getting started. Uh... So right out of the gate, he's saying, preparation. Be ready to go when it's go time. Next thing he does, he watches him Percy do workouts eighth graders would do for a half hour. He says, Kobe, what's that about? And here comes the power. He said, Alan, I don't practice it to get it right. I practice it so I'll never get it wrong. Okay. Then when the game's on the line, I can go to the level because I trust my fundamentals. I will not get it wrong because I've repped it out and I trust it. I can go to the next level. So let's use Paul on his field goals. He's repped out what he sees and where his plant foot goes and where his foot goes through the ball. Control every single thing of that, block everything else out. And Kobe was teaching that at the highest level to Nike's guru. I'm going to practice it so that I'll never get it wrong. So when the pressure's on, come what may, I will have done everything I can control to do. And I love it how we do that with our husband-wife relationship. I can control my conversation. I can control my body language and my tone. Those are things I can control fundamentally. Come what may after that. And so I love where you took it, where our self-talk has to be, what do I control? I will voice. I will fill in the blank. Not will I. Will I miss this kick? I mm. will come through it as hard as I can. There we go. Will I deliver the, the uh, ball on time as Percy Gardner quarterback? No, I will plant foot, follow through on time. Come what may after that. The more we get used to that, we're okay with experiencing a little failure because we've been really worked our way into controlling everything that we can. The make or miss, we don't control that. So I love where you went, where you guided me in using Paul as an example or what we choose to control in our thinking. Our self-talk has to be, I will voice. And then a next play mentality after that. And you it. lean into it, lean into it. So thanks for taking me there. And, you know, you think of rivalry week, all those things that are going to get in the way of kids thinking this week. Once they get done with their dinners and the talks and the parades, it all comes right back to, What's in front of me? What do I control? And just go rep that out like crazy. The memories will catch up to us after we do that. Altman is here for you in your community because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team joined together and committed to one mission to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more for your community and for your family. Altman is always here for you. 
into savings at Parkway CDJR. We're offering the lowest prices of the year. Lease a 2024 Grand Cherokee for only $339 for 39 months. 2024 Jeep Compasses starting at only $269 a month. If a Dodge Ram is in your plans, then a 2024 Crew Cab Tradesman is only $329 for 42 months or take $12,000 off MSRP. All remaining 2023 models will be sold at dealer employee pricing. Get to Parkway CDJR today for your best selection and the absolute best price. Aaron Kowalczyk, attorney at law. Family court matters are important to you. You need an attorney that will listen to your concerns and execute a plan that will bring the results that you're looking for. That attorney is Aaron Kowalczyk. For divorce or dissolution or custody, consult attorney Aaron Kowalczyk. Inquire now at KowalczykLaw.com. That is www.KowalczykLaw.com. Yes, exactly. And I yeah. love that. Yeah. Um, that kind of hits back to, you know, what I've said before is, you know, master the monotonous. And uh, I think Kobe was really good at yeah. that, you know. Um, but, yeah, that was that was amazing. And I think it's important that, you know, people understand that thoughts are real. And I know we talked about this in previous episodes. And uh, mm-hmm. I just encourage people to be intentional about their thoughts. And it, it may sound silly at first, but I think uh, if you do it, you know, enough you'll understand and you'll start to see the impact and the changes in your patterns and and you'll be like okay i'm a believer of this so uh, i encourage Mm -hmm. you to try it out um uh listeners and uh also i just uh you know i want to kind of end the show talking about the guardians because their season's over Um, it's heavy for all of us yeah (laughs) i mean but at the end of the day if we're being real you know they did well they had a great season you know, I don't know what it is, but I've been throwing out this number all week. I'm like, I mean, it's hard for them to compete when they're, you know, a hundred. Their roster is 150 million dollars cheaper than the Yankees and the other teams involved too. When you look at the Dodgers as well, so um, I think uh, this was a good year uh, for the new manager. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a little heartbroken that Tito's in Cincinnati, but we won't we won't talk about that. That's uh, another show for yeah, us. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but for me, I just you know, I think it was a good season. I think they played well. They fought back when they could have just given up. I think, um, you know, I gave up a couple times, not going to lie. You know, after Stanton, um, after Judge and Stanton hit those back-to-back home runs, when we were up 3-1, <laughs> I just went downstairs. I'm like, I'm done with this. <laughs> and then my wife's yelling, they had a home run, and we ended up winning that <laughs> game. And just the the resilience that they showed, it just goes to show that, you know, this team is really like, even when I was playing, it was a, it was a great team. We had great individuals, but at the end of the day, they didn't behave like that. You know, we all were running together, conditioning together, lifting together. And uh, I think that just goes to show, um, you know, teamwork does make the dream work. And obviously Mm -hmm. um, they didn't reach their end goal. uh, But I think they, that's a situation you can be proud of how you played. And a lot of those games were decided by one run, extra innings, or whatever it is. So uh, I think that's something they can build on for next year. Hopefully we're able to keep someone around. I'm just counting down the days. You know how we do in Cleveland. I'm counting down the days until, you know, Stephen Kwan is playing for, you know, Boston or New York or something like that. We got to take advantage of him while he's here in Cleveland. Yeah. Um, but uh, And hopefully we can get our pitching staff back and Bieber can be back and Trista can be back at full strength and, and, you know, see what this team is capable of. But everyone has injuries. I don't want to give us excuses. But uh, but what was your take, you know, and we talked a little bit before we started recording. Hey, there's some pitches I didn't like to see, but I really only critique Class A just because that was kind of the position that I was going to be leading to uh, if I didn't, you know, run into some struggles was I was assuming I was going to be eventually be the closer. And he's a little bit different than me. You know, I throw a sinker, which the ball runs into a right-hander. He throws a cutter, which goes away from the right-hander. And uh, But he's obviously had a great season. And the postseason, he struggled a little bit. But I think uh, I think it was David Fry who said, hey, you know, he's carried us all year. And it was it was about time for us to pick him up. And uh, I think it was it was a, a message well sent. And hopefully, Klaus A received it well as well. Yeah. Yeah, Percy, as you think about I'm going to come back and actually build a bridge to our show today. When you think about our Guardians in the Final Four, so in other words, the two American League teams, the two National League teams, look at those markets, two New York markets and an L.A. market, and then us. Yeah. So we're the anomaly in terms of getting to a Final Four. Well, you look inside what that 
Guardian locker room put together, it ties into our ability to lead, and I'll use the rivalry game energy. They were able to block out all that stuff that was chatter and execute based upon their trust and belief in one another. And they managed it to a level that it didn't look like it was supposed to happen, but it continued to happen. And what they did was a next play mentality. I trust you. We're resilient. All those things that keep you in the moment and be intentional, they executed throughout series upon series. So much so that every at bat was a next opportunity as opposed to, I have to do this. No, it's just an opportunity to put the ball in play. And, oh, my gosh, did we do that in a big way. Class A, great stuff. He had carried us to this spot, just missed a couple of spots, as you know well, how fine that is. But he has to trust his reps to say, that's my pitch, come what may. So I really like where our guardians ended up. And you're right about the future. It, it's always precarious in, in big league ball because of contracts and market. But our guardians almost like rivalry week energy in it. They blocked all the stuff out. They managed what they could and continued to take us on a ride because of how great they were as individual men who could play the game. And so I just, I celebrate it. Yeah, yeah we didn't get there, but I celebrate what they showed and managed for us to take away from it as much as we were celebrating it. For sure. Um, and one of these days, I would love to go watch a game with you. That'd be great. Oh, uh, well, we, the ballers in us, we'd be talking about the signaling between infielders and the positioning. And are we going to bounce this uh, 0-2 pitch just to see if they'll go fishing? You know, all those things that you do. Yeah, that's, that's what would make <laughs> watching the game with you would be fun. Yeah, of course. And the funny thing about you saying bouncing the, you know, the 0-2 pitch, you know, as my wife doesn't quite understand that part. And she's like, what is he trying to do? Walk him? I'm like, no, he's trying to get him to chase, you know? <laughs> so she's, right. you know, she, f- uh, baseball wasn't her first choice for me. She wanted me to play football. Uh, but I think uh, <laughs> the choice to go baseball is the reason I'm still here, you know, able to think clearly. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> That's a Great point, Percy. Yeah. To be the great husband and father that you are, clearly. Yes. Uh, and, I, you know, I feel blessed that I was able to have the experiences I have, but like I said, you know, being here, living back in the hometown of Dover, getting to talk to Mike Galena, uh, nah, it's, all, nah. it's always a great, a great experience. <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously we love having you on the show, Mike, and uh, mm-hmm. we try to get you in at least once a month. I know you're a busy man and uh, got a lot of stuff going on, so we appreciate you always coming through and, and giving us your outlook uh, when people are tired of hearing of mine. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I can't wait for, you know, this weekend to come up and we can see all these rivalry games and, and see the results. And, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, there's no serious injuries and, and teams get catapulted into the, the tournament, the playoffs, whatever you want to call it, and uh, see where it all happens and, and see where it all ends up and who's in the state championship game and all that. Uh, I'm excited. How about you, Mike? Absolutely. Percy, always a joy and a blessing to be with you. But I like how you close that. High school sports at its best. Communities rallying around their teams, the opportunity to have a rivalry week, win a league championship, and then see what perhaps happens in that playoff run. It's a joy, and it's no place better than Northeast Ohio to see it all come down. You said it best. Well, Mike, uh, we appreciate having you, um, like always, and uh, we'll be leading up. And this time I'll give you a you know a little bit more quicker heads up for the next time we're going to record. So I appreciate the flexibility. <laughs> Anytime, and I'm always ready. It's a joy. There we go. There we go. Well, uh, without further ado, we'll, we're going to come to a close, but I want to remind you guys, we're doing the giveaway. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube page. You know, just being a follower on Facebook won't get you into uh, the giveaway. So I'm going to be heading over to Facebook, letting people know. Make sure you get over to the YouTube to subscribe so you get a chance to win 250 bucks. I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to be included. I can't, you know, I'm not going to be one of the names entered into it. If my name doesn't get drawn because I am a subscriber of this YouTube page, uh, then we'll, we'll just keep it moving. Um, we're going to definitely get this done. I want to say I'm going to give you guys about a week. Um, um, so make sure you get to the page and subscribe. Um, other than that, please like it. Uh, if you're you know, wanting to know, hey, I, I only like to listen to my podcast in audio form, we're there too. We're in every place so you can get your audio podcast as well. So if you're liking the show, leave us some feedback, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.